On the Kona coast of the Big Island of Hawaii, there's a ramshackle collection of fish tanks, pipes, and mobile housing units that looks more like a laboratory than a school. The ambiance is appropriate because there's a bold experiment in education underway here. I need a student helper to be in charge of this to help me put the packets together. Instead of taking biology, history, and math, these high school students spend the school day working on various projects that encompass everything from restoring ancient fish ponds to surveying reef ecosystems to building exotic electric vehicles and racing them. Opened in the year 2000 as an alternative public high school for 10th through 12th grade, the West Hawaii Explorations Academy, or WEA, reflects the educational philosophy of Principal Bill Warner. Education is not a collection of information. Education is being able to function well in, in the society. These students function really well because they've learned how to operate on small teams and to lay out how to solve complicated problems in a reasonable way. Any color or what? Black. The little pieces and snippets of information they might get along the way, that's sort of irrelevant. That's the grist that they work with. But the structure of how you go about learning and being a lifelong learner, those are the things that I think this program does very well. In España. Quiere ver? Sí. Way as 130 students receive some traditional instruction in math, reading, writing, and language arts. But they earn most of the credit for their core subjects by managing and staffing a variety of projects. They develop their own research parameters, conduct online research, and consult with mentors. To take seawater, you have to bleach it, then you have to add the um, sodium thal sulfate and neutralize it, and then, then you can put the algae in and grow it. So they review their evidence portfolios with their teachers each week and make a final written and oral presentation of their findings at the end of the semester. See if you can find a contact for him. While the environment is at times chaotic, some researchers insist that Weya's approach is effective. I have done research that led me to believe that the important parts of education are number one that people have choice and control over their own learning and number two that they're in a collaborative environment and thirdly that kids are engaged in content worth knowing these way students are restoring an ancient fish pond a project that combines anthropology ecology biology community service and manual labor it's an old ancient incline pond from back in the day when Kamehameha ruled the Hawaiian Islands. And this was one of his personal ponds that he used to hold fish in. This is where he got much of his fish supply for eating. And um, guppies were introduced a long time ago. And they've overrun the pond. And we're trying to restore the pond to its natural state, which is pristine. Cleaning out this pond is really important. It's really important to show the children of the future how back in the past that these ponds were used. He's been moved around all day, so he's hiding in there. The projects way as students participate in are as varied as the imagination of the students who design them. But most have a public service aspect, like this ecology education program for primary school kids. Come on, I can't breathe well. She was so frustrated because she can't have any trouble. <laughs> what a cruel world. Someone please help me. What if I don't want it? I guess I could try. For new teachers like Sherry Harada Shirai, Weya's project-based learning approach offers an exciting challenge. If somebody told me when I was student teaching that, you know, Ten months from now, you're going to be in the water snorkeling with your kids and taking data and trying to explain this. I'd be like, no way. There's a lot of different reasons to graph, whether it's dwarfing. And, and I'm learning from my students, and that's the real gift. When you model and then you show to your other students that, you know, I, I'm a learner too, not only a teacher, I'm a, I'm a learner, and I love to learn. And everybody's just in a whole learning community. <laughs> The learning community at Wea ranges from special ed to gifted, and the project approach seems to work well at both ends of the spectrum. This one particular student, she decided that she wanted to try this school out, and at the first semester she just, the paperwork would come in, but it was real sloppy, no effort, hardly any journals. Put numbers inside the tank, so it's like one, two, three, four. This second semester she's turned in everything. 
from a research paper to a literary critique to an evidence folder, weekly paperwork, always asking me and inquiring for help. You know, this is the whole motivation, turnaround. It's total and complete. And she keeps telling me, thank you, thank you, I love you. And I said, no, thank yourself. You did it. You pushed yourself. The way a staff has developed partnerships with local companies, universities, and community organizations, recruiting project mentors, and opening up career opportunities for students like Jared Williford, who landed a job at a nearby microalgae farm. I was really interested in what they were doing, and I caught on really fast, so they kind of integrated me into the process, and now I'm getting paid, and I'm moving up the field, so I'll be a technician pretty soon. In the future, maybe if I can get a farm, and I've already learned all the different fertilization methods and things such as that, so I could set up my own system and kind of live off my own stuff, you know? Pretty much live off of what I've learned. <laughs> Notice how they have those spot patterns on their back? Mm -hmm. That's uh, totally unique. Mentors play a key role in many way of projects. Aaron Rito has been studying water quality issues working with the staff at the Four Seasons Resort. You want to do a salinity test? Is that about a 26? Um, how come it's so low? Well, it's low as compared with the ocean, which is about 34, 35 parts per thousand, but we keep it low like that so that the fish can't reproduce. Compared to books, magazines, articles, working with mentors has been my biggest source of information all throughout the three years I've been at the school. And um, not only can you ask direct questions and they can answer them, but they also give you more than On what you asked for. The lone female, she's the biggest. Erin has been conducting an experiment for the past three years on a brackish water pond at the resort to see if the introduction of bacteria will improve water quality. I love what I do. <laughs> it's, and it's really exciting and it feels good. Instead of compared to being where I was before, sitting in a classroom, four walls, lights, textbooks, desks. This is my classroom now. This is where, this is where I learn. Part of the learning process is demonstrating what you know. For Erin, that meant presenting her research findings to a panel of graduate students at the University of Hawaii on Oahu. For those of you who aren't sure what ankyline pools are, they're pretty much landlocked brackish water ponds. Um, there's three characteristics that really define a pool. If you want to excel and if you want to push yourself, there isn't any class in a public school that could give you what you can give yourself. And that's what the greatest thing is, is because it's all you. I'm so blessed to have been able to go to this school. It's great. For more information on what works in public education, go to edutopia.org.